the film begins by showing a tantalizing scene where a female journalist is interviewing a renowned painter, their conversation veering into the painter's personal life. The journalist, intrigued by the fact that the painter has remained unmarried for over four decades after being widowed, questions him about his reasons for not finding love again. In response, the painter reveals that he had once been loved by a woman who had left an indelible mark on his heart. The scene then shifts to a bygone era, where we meet So Rie, a captivating woman taking a leisurely stroll through a picturesque park. Her eyes are drawn to a young man selling paintings, but the seller himself has dozed off. Sensing an opportunity, Rie wakes the young man, Mo Chol Wu, and promptly buys all his paintings. However, she is taken aback by the carelessness with which Chol Wu treats his artwork, except for one particular piece that catches her eye. It is a portrait of a faceless woman, mysterious and haunting. Chol Wu signs and dates the painting before gifting it to Rie, and their paths cross in the most unexpected way. When Chol Wu asks for Rie's name, she hesitates, choosing to give herself the moniker Mandu after her favorite food. Despite being a wealthy painter and vice curator at a museum, Rie is plagued by self-doubt and constantly seeks validation through her art. She becomes obsessed with the painting she bought from Chol Wu, constantly studying it for inspiration. In a stroke of luck, she discovers Chol Wu's Instagram account and decides to reach out to him. The following day, Chol Wu awakens from his makeshift bed, a wooden crate, to the sound of his girlfriend Do Ito's voice. She pleads with him to paint her portrait, desperate to see her face immortalized in his art. But Chol Wu, true to his heart, refuses. He can only paint the face of his first love, the woman who left an indelible mark on his soul. Meanwhile, Rie's mother, the owner of a prestigious museum, is overjoyed when she sees Chol Wu's painting, mistaking it for her daughter's work. Rie can only remain silent, the weight of her secret heavy on her heart. That night, consumed by the desire to find Chol Wu, she makes her way to the park, only to discover an empty cardboard box where he usually sleeps. The next day, Rie decides to buy all of Chol Wu's paintings, sensing that he has abandoned his art. As she heads home with her new acquisitions, she begins to experience severe shortness of breath, a symptom of her worsening congenital heart disease. The disease causes clean and dirty blood to mix, leaving her struggling to breathe. Rie's past haunts her as she remembers the time when she received a heart transplant as a teenager, a transplant that was meant for a boy named Son Wu. She feels a deep sense of guilt for having received the transplant over Son Wu and carries the weight of that guilt with her to this day. Elsewhere, Chol Wu spends a cold and lonely night in his makeshift bed, unable to return to his rented room after being evicted. He tries to reach out to his girlfriend Do Ito for help, but she is nowhere to be found. As the night wears on, Rie finds herself feeling dejected and dissatisfied with her own artwork. She turns to Chol Wu's Instagram page and comes across a comment that suggests he is willing to sell his talent for a mere 100,000 won. Shocked and concerned, she immediately sets out to find him, eventually discovering him in a drunken stupor at a local bar. In his haze, Chol Wu sees Do Ito and his best friend Ju Hyok, but they quickly vanish into thin air. After helping Chol Wu back to her house, Rie wastes no time in showing him the money she has set aside to commission 20 paintings from him. Chol Wu initially resists the idea of painting for Rie, fearful of the recognition and attention it may bring. But when his phone is confiscated and he finds himself locked in her house, he realizes he has little choice but to agree. As they begin their artistic collaboration, their relationship deepens, with Rie pushing Chol Wu to new heights of creativity. However, tensions soon arise between them. One evening, as they sit down for dinner, Chol Wu reaches for his cigarettes, only to be met with Rie's disapproving gaze. Despite their differences, they continue to work together, but when Rie leaves the room, Chol Wu reveals his true colors. He pretends to fall asleep, only to awaken when she leaves the room, attempting to escape her house. Unfortunately for Chol Wu, Rie's uncle, Lee, foils his plan, catching him in the act. In the meantime, Do Ito's desire for Chol Wu's attention leads her to Ju Hyok, but he refuses to betray his best friend and shows no interest in her advances. Back at Rie's house, Chol Wu finally finds the one thing he has been seeking all along a large, blank canvas. Fueled by his passion for art, he paints his heart out, completing his first masterpiece. Rie is astounded by the beauty of his work and decides to commission 19 more paintings from him, offering to pay him an additional 100,000 won. But their relationship soon hits a snag when Chol Wu becomes frustrated with Rie's ambiguous motivations, demanding that they maintain a vow of silence during their time together. As Rie retreats to her room to reflect on her feelings, she pours her heart out in her diary, revealing the depths of her emotions. Meanwhile, Do Ito sets out to find Chol Wu, seeking the attention and affection she craves. But when she shows up at the place where his friends are gathered, Ju Hyok becomes angry and they get into a physical altercation, leading Do Ito to leave in frustration. The following day, Rie asks her uncle Lee to go out and buy clothes for Chol Wu while she prepares breakfast for him. But when she returns to the dining room, she finds that Chol Wu has not touched his food, his attention fully consumed by his artwork. 
Rie becomes frustrated and concerned for Chol Wu's well-being, urging him to take care of himself. As their collaboration continues, Chol Wu's obsession with his art only intensifies, leading him to neglect his own health. For two weeks, he subsists on nothing but dumplings, stubbornly insisting that they are his favorite food. Despite Rie's attempts to persuade him to eat more nutritious meals, Chol Wu remains steadfast in his ways. In a dramatic turn of events, Rie suddenly experiences severe shortness of breath, causing her to collapse. Chol Wu, consumed by panic and concern, immediately rushes her to the hospital, with Li following closely behind in his car. When they make their way down from the villa, Chol Wu decides to personally accompany Rie to the hospital. However, upon returning to the villa, he discovers heart medication on Rie's desk, causing him to realize the severity of her condition. He begins to read through her diary, gaining a deeper understanding of her struggles and her admiration for his artistic talent. But as he turns the page, he is stunned by a photograph of a pair of teenagers seemingly stuck to the page. As the days pass and Chol Wu remains missing, Do Ito grows increasingly worried and decides to file a missing person report. In a moment of vulnerability, she confesses to being the only person in his life and pleads with the authorities to help find him. Meanwhile, Rie returns home from the hospital and is surprised to find that Chol Wu has completed many paintings in her absence. Overjoyed by his progress, she asks to write her own name under one of his works but instead chooses to write a message of love in Chinese characters. Curious about her true identity, Chol Wu presses her for her real name, and as she reveals it to him, they share a moment of pure joy and connection. In a poignant flashback scene, the film takes viewers back to Rie's teenage years. She is seen hiding with her friend Son Wu, trying to escape from the wrath of a stern nun. During this moment of playful respite, Rie notices a mole on Son Wu's chin and impulsively kisses him, causing him to blush with embarrassment. As they spend the day together, taking walks and capturing memories on camera, their connection deepens, and they share a moment of passion that leaves them both breathless and unconscious. For Rie, these memories serve as a painful reminder of the past, a time when she was filled with hope and optimism for the future. But now, as she struggles with her own health issues and the weight of her responsibilities, those memories seem distant and fleeting, like a dream that has long since faded. The story takes a heart-wrenching turn as Rie's mother goes to see the doctor to request a heart transplant surgery for her daughter. But to her dismay, the doctor informs her that they cannot perform the surgery for the third time, as Rie almost died during her second transplant. With no other options left, Rie's mother is forced to accept that her daughter's life will be limited. Despite the gravity of the situation, Chol Wu and Rie continue to grow closer. They share meals together and paint side by side, with Rie urging Chol Wu to always prioritize his health. However, their idyllic existence is threatened when Rie's mother unexpectedly arrives at the villa and questions the presence of a stranger in her daughter's life. To protect their secret, Rie lies and claims that Chol Wu is her painting assistant. When Chol Wu prepares to leave, he steals a glance at a painting of Rie as a young girl and is suddenly struck by a realization. He had painted a sketch of Rie's face when they first escaped from the hospital together. It becomes clear to him that Son Wu, the teenage boy from Rie's past, was actually him all along. This revelation explains Chol Wu's deep connection to Rie and his unwavering devotion to her. While the evening wears on, Rie and Chol Wu share a moment of levity, joking and laughing together. But as Rie prepares to leave, she suddenly experiences a health crisis, and Chol Wu is overcome with love and kisses her. At that moment, he longs to reveal his true identity as Son Wu, but Li's hurried arrival forces them to keep their secret. They quickly compose themselves and pretend to be painting together as Rie's mother enters the room. Rie is determined to finish her first painting, and with Chol Wu's help, she finally achieves her goal. But as Son Wu prepares to leave, he is struck by a sense of sadness, knowing that soon all of his paintings will be credited to someone else. Rie, who has been secretly watching him, also feels a sense of sorrow and longing. Rie feels the weight of her secrets bearing down on her, knowing that her beautiful paintings on display at the exhibition were actually painted by Chol Wu. She confesses to her mother, who responds with understanding and a plea to keep her daughter's name intact. Feeling trapped by the situation, Rie reaches out to Chol Wu and musters the courage to confront him about his true identity as Son Wu. In a moment of vulnerability, Chol Wu confesses everything to Rie's mother, who takes pity on him and implores him to keep the truth hidden until the exhibition is over. A moment later, Rie walks to Chol Wu's room to return his phone but instead finds Chol Wu leaving his phone in her room and asking her to go out to buy paint. As Rie leaves the villa, Chol Wu's phone comes back to life, and the police immediately detect its signal, prompting Do Ito to report Chol Wu as a missing person. 
When Rie returns, she and Chol Wu are surprised to find a police car parked outside their villa. It turns out that Do Ito and Ju Hyok are searching for Chol Wu, upset with Do Ito's actions. Chol Wu quickly takes Do Ito into a room, knowing about her affair with Ju Hyok, and prays that he never has to see her again. On the day of the exhibition, all of Chol Wu's paintings are on display at the museum. Do Ito approaches Rie's mother and threatens to reveal that Chol Wu is the actual painter behind the works, but Rie's mother calmly assures her that they share the same goal of keeping Chol Wu away from Rie. Before the exhibition begins, Rie helps Chol Wu prepare. As a pretend deputy curator and painter, Rie must go first with her mother, while Chol Wu will go with Lee. In the car, Lee hands Chol Wu a savings book containing 200,000 won, as per their agreement at the beginning. But Chol Wu declines, feeling content just to be with Rie. Meanwhile, the museum guests begin to come. But Rie is anxious because Chol Wu does not come. Rie is anxiously waiting for Chol Wu to arrive at the exhibition, but he doesn't show up. Lee drops Chol Wu off in front of his rented house and tells him not to see Rie again. Lee reveals that 20 years ago, Rie's mother received a heart donor that was supposed to go to Chol Wu. Chol Wu's father had sacrificed his heart for his son, but he didn't survive the transplant surgery. This revelation leaves Chol Wu confused about how to handle his feelings of revenge towards Rie's family while also loving Rie deeply. On the other hand, the exhibition begins in the absence of Chol Wu. Rie's mother makes a shocking announcement that she bought all the paintings from an artist named Chol Wu. However, as Chol Wu fails to show up, Rie becomes overwhelmed and collapses. The night, after the confrontation with Do Ido and Ju Hyok, Chol Wu hangs out with his friends but his mind is preoccupied. The next morning, he receives a call from his friend informing him that his name is trending on a search site. Curious, Chol Wu checks the internet and discovers an article about him, followed by news of Rie's serious illness. He tries to call Rie, but her number is unreachable, so he rushes to the museum to find her. However, he only finds Rie's mother there, who informs him that Rie is undergoing treatment and asks him to stay away from her daughter. Chol Wu is heartbroken and confused, not knowing what to do. Determined to make Rie see his art, Chol Wu heads to her villa on the hill and starts painting various works, including a portrait of Rie. He hopes that if he cannot find her, she will come to him through his paintings. Once his paintings are finished, Chol Wu holds an exhibition titled I See You at the Museum. As expected, Rie secretly attends the exhibition and is stunned to see her face in one of the paintings. Chol Wu, who knows of her presence, approaches her and confesses his love for her. In front of a painting of the two of them, Chol Wu proposes to Rie, and she is deeply moved by his heartfelt gesture. After registering their marriage, Chol Wu and Rie are enjoying a romantic moment together. As they kiss, Rie notices a heart surgery scar on Chol Wu. Wu's chest. Chol Wu reveals that he is actually Son Wu and that when he needed a heart transplant, his father had a car accident and passed away, leaving his heart to Chol Wu as a donor. Rie is overwhelmed with emotion and thanks Chol Wu for everything he has done for her. However, her joy is short-lived as she experiences another episode of shortness of breath. She wakes Chol Wu up and tearfully confesses that she wants to live, despite her limited time left. Chol Wu is devastated to see his wife in such pain and agony. He stays by her side, trying his best to comfort her and make the most of the time they have left together. As Rie's condition worsens day by day, she focuses on making contracts with many museums so that her husband's paintings can be put on display after she's gone. This is the legacy she wants to leave behind for her husband and the world. One day, with an increasingly pale face, Rie whines about wanting to go up the mountain. Chol Wu immediately carries his wife to go hiking together. Before leaving, they meet with Lee and ask for permission, and Rie also says goodbye to Lee. After 40 years have passed, Chol Wu is now an accomplished and well-known painter whose artwork is highly valued and sought after by collectors and museums around the world. As the film begins, we see Chol Wu being interviewed by a journalist who is curious about his life and art. During the interview, Chol Wu tells the story of his great love for Rie, a woman who had a profound impact on his life and career. As the journalist listens in amazement, Chol Wu shares his memories of Rie, their courtship, and the challenges they face together. He speaks of her illness, her determination to help him showcase his art, and her unwavering love and support. Moved by his story, the journalist asks for Chol Wu's autograph and imitates his signature, an unexpected gesture that makes him smile. Later, at his home, Chol Wu continues to look back on his life with Rie, flipping through her old agenda filled with memories and reminders of their time together. Chol Wu is heartbroken after his wife's passing and spends most of his time reminiscing their memories together. One day, while going through Rie's belongings, he comes across her old agenda and finds a picture of his face in it. As he examines the date, he realizes that Rie had known all along that he was Son Wu. She had purposely bought all of his paintings and worked hard to promote his art. Not just because she loved his paintings, but also because she loved him deeply and wanted to leave a legacy for him. 
The moral of the story is that no matter what life throws your way, always carry a spare phone battery so you can avoid getting arrested by the police. Confess your true identity to your loved ones and make important phone calls in case of emergencies. And always check your phone battery before going on a walk with your crush because it might lead to a series of unexpected events and a lifetime of love. Thank you.